What's going on guys, it's Dan here, welcome to the game unboxing for March 5th, the first huge game unboxing of the year I believe, yeah, like this is one of the biggest I've ever unboxed, um, we have ourselves, technically we have two retail games, this one probably three off and everyone's like, oh my god, I've got that on it, ripped out already, no, <laughs> no I didn't, um, but I'll explain everything here, I have a lot to show you, there's quite a bit, I got more than I normally do, um, but first I'll start off uh, by mentioning the DLCs that are releasing right now, um, or today, uh, we have the final single player DLC for Mass Effect 3, and that is called Citadel, I am so psyched for that because I love my Mass Effect, so I'll probably be starting with that. Uh, it's actually one of the biggest DLCs they've ever made. It's a two-parter, but they release both parts on the same day. So you, everyone, you know, don't don't, don't worry. Uh, it's not split up like that. You pay once, you get both parts. Um, I believe it is. 12, it was twelve hundred Microsoft points, which is roughly fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on your region. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, for me, it was roughly eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think just because of the Canadian currency exchange crap anyway uh also releasing today is virgil's downfall dlc for um dmc devil may cry sorry it took me a second now the way that's gonna work uh i will be doing that dlc obviously but uh i had a code when i pre-ordered the game when it came out and the code you had to enter it on their website and what they were going to do was email you your code to use to download the DLC. Now I have not, according to my phone, like I get email on my phone and I haven't received an email from them yet, but um, I'll check right now if I have it. We'll see. I don't think so, but uh, they're supposed to email you your code to enter. Yeah, I don't have it yet. On your PS3 or Xbox 360. So that'll probably just get done last just because I don't have it yet. But DLCs are usually pretty quick. And knowing that the Capcom... No, that's not Capcom. Sorry, forget that. I thought I was saying Capcom. But I don't think that DLC will be ridiculously long. So that's that. Also, before we get into the main retail games, I would like to draw your attention just to this really fast. I, like I said, I don't have Dead Island Rip Riptide. I just pre-ordered it today. And you get a steel book that's actually made of tin, just like the Assassin's Creed 3 steel book that I got way back when. So that game does release in April, I believe it's April 26th, or something along those lines, end of April. So, anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the actual retail games. All right. So, people are really excited that I did that I decided to do this Sim City or Sim City 5, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I haven't done a PC game, let alone a PC game like this, in for like in ages, man. I used to play SimCity 3000 back in the day, the original SimCities on the NES and Super NES, things like that. I had a lot of fun with the old SimCities, and then when they went to PC, but the newer ones I haven't played really. Like SimCity 4 was the one before that. So that, that came out in like 04, I think. No, was it that long ago? 04, 05? Someone will have to confirm that with me, but I'm not sure. Let me just make sure there's no codes in here. I don't think there would be. But, um, yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, there is. Whoops, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, you know why? It's because this is the limited edition. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. This is the limited edition of SimCity. They also have a deluxe edition. This limited edition comes with uh, building packs. So, for example, I'm going to take a quick gander here. Uh, okay, that's an ad for The Sims. All right, this one doesn't have a code on it, so I can pretty much show you, but I'll just show you what it's called just in case. The Heroes and Villains set. I'm not sure what that is, but deploy Maxis Man to instantly upgrade your crime fighting power or unleash the evil Dr. Vu and watch chaos and, an chaos and anarchy spread throughout your city. I don't know if I want to do that. Anyway, uh, it just tells you how to do it. Prompt you to log into Origin, register for an account. Enter serial code on included legal pamphlet. Oh, where's that? This thing. Ah, it's at the back. Okay. Gotcha. It's at the back. All right, back of this thing. This legal pamphlet. Anyway, and you have your controls here, and so on and so forth. But yeah, your villain set, and an ad for Sims 3 and all the expansions that it comes with. Uh, but yeah, I am really psyched for this game. It looks like a lot of fun. It's not something I'm going to really go through, because it really doesn't have an end. But what my goal is, to do this somewhat slowly, 
and I'll play the game as you know as, mu as much as I can. But I'm not gonna do everything. Like I'm gonna once my once my city is pretty much built and I'm happy with it, and I'm like, this is city is epic, it's done. Uh, I'll probably stop. But I don't know. It could be something I could keep going, and little things keep happening, kind of turn it into an episodic thing. You guys would have to let me know on that one. But. Sim City will get done. Not gonna get done right away, but I am gonna do it. It's gonna be a lot of fun there. So that's Sim City. Now let's get these two out of the way and let's make room for the Bertha, the major release of today, Tomb Raider. And uh, before we get into the actual, this is the collector's edition, by the way. I don't know if you could tell that. But before we get into that, I would like to draw your attention to these goodies over here. This is my pre-order bonus. I got so much content with this. It's gonna take me a million years to enter in all these codes and whatnot. Um, but this is the pre-order bonus for pre-ordering at EB Games, which is also GameStop. Uh, you get the Shantytown multiplayer map and the Tomb of the Lost Adventure. That could be a single-player mission. I'll zoom in so you can see that. And the code is on the back. There's two of them for each one. So that's that. And also over here, I don't, I never do this, but it's something I've decided to start doing for games I really like or I'm interested in. I'm going to get strategy guides that I think about, you know, not for every game, but for games that I really have, an, uh, like a, you know, a, a, like I like, you know, I have an interest in, a solid interest in, and, uh, let me zoom out so you can see that a little better, oh, it is all the way zoomed out, okay, well, let me go up then, there we go, <laughs> and, uh, the thing is, it, like, you usually get them on sale if you buy them on the day of, so they're really not that expensive when you think about it, I think this ended up being, like, what was it? Like 25 bucks and this is the limited edition or something like that I don't know there, there's a lot to it but anyways um, the, one of the other major reasons I got this you actually get DLC just for purchasing this and here I'll show you right here this little pamphlet was actually taped to the back you get codes for multiplayer characters but you also get a little emblem as a collector's edition they usually throw in things like that I mean they have some pretty stupid ones sometimes but this one you know they have a little medallion that looks like it's like a five cent thing but it's Laura's uh, medallion, emblem, or eh, emblem, amulet, sorry. See, yeah, custom designed amulet. This handsome 1.5 inch painted metal replica of Laura's amulet can be worn on any of your own adventures. I'm totally going to do that. No, I'm not. Anyway, I'm going to open this up just so you can take a gander. I haven't opened this yet. What the heck? They had a little spot for me to, uh, all the game tested surroundings and multiplayer types that are included in our signature series guide, packaged in, uh, a deluxe hardcover with a superior gloss finish, it's a beautiful looking book, thing is, I'm starting to look ahead like I'm about to, uh, move, and I have, I'm buying like a bunch of stuff like a bookshelf and things like that that I'm going to showcase some collectibles and my books and my girlfriend has her comic. She's a bit of a comic nerd. It's pretty funny. But, uh, you know, things like that. And so I'm, I figured books like this along with some of the collectibles that go with it would match it perfectly. Here's the emblem, by the way. Probably won't do much with that thing. Uh, I don't know where the DLC is for this thing. Oh, really? They put styrofoam in here. I hate styrofoam with a passion. Um, I have no idea where the hell, oh, oh, the actual strategy guide has them in here. This is just for the amulet and showcases, so I can pretty much throw that out. Um, I'm just going to quickly take a look at this before I show you. Oh, okay, the codes are in the back. Okay, in the back case. All right, good to know. Beautiful, man. All right, you know what, I'm just looking at this myself. I'll show you guys what I can. All right, so here you have your strategy guide. You know, you have your characters, wildlife, how to do things, start a signal fire. I'll probably keep this handy just in case I need it, you know what I mean, need help on it. It's probably the type of game that I really don't, but it looks kind of free roam from that map. Uh, nice looking color, it's, it looks really beautiful. So that's good on that part. Cool that I bought that, I'm actually pretty happy because I honestly, Hell, that may actually help me out. I don't know, but... Okay, let's get on to the main game. Now, funny story, as you can see, this is on PlayStation 3. If I can get this out of the slip cover that it's got going on. Hold on. It's not taped, is it? No, it should slide out. There we go, okay. There. Whoops, what's that? Oh, it's an art book. It's like, what the deuce is this? 
All right, so we slid it out. It's obviously a survival kit. So if I ever get stranded, I'll remember to grab my um, Tomb Raider Collector's Edition and I'll be able to survive and I'll be set. So <laughs> anyway, I got, they got this art book. Another thing I want to showcase in the new condo, you know what I mean? Like new, like the art, all the art books I have are in a really nasty place right here. They're just on top of my uh, desk, but they look really bad anyway. But uh, they have art here. Anything you want to know, be nice looking artwork, that's really nice stuff. So that's the art book. I kind of suspected there'd be one with this guy. Uh, let me open up this tin for you. All right, so anyway, as I was saying, funny story about this collector. Jesus, H hockey sticks. There's codes on all over the place, so I'm going to close that. <laughs> funny thing about this actual game. I pre-ordered this game on Xbox 360. Seriously. Buddy put it down, then I pre-ordered it on PS3. So no big deal because I have a PS3, but I think it's funny that they did that. Uh, anyway. God damn it. Oh, I, it actually worked. I actually did the nail trick, and it actually opened up this plastic wrap. Sorry, just a minute. I'm just opening the game for you so you can take a look. I will have to take those codes out and flip them. There's quite a few codes that I got to enter for this game. All right, so let me open this, make sure. Oh, look at that, code right in your face. Redemption code for what? Activate your Tomb Raider DLC. So it's, here's something to register the product for Square Enix. Is there anything on the back? All right, so there's no point. Well, I can show you the front. All right, this is for the Hunter skin and the Shantytown multiplayer map, but hold on. You assholes, look at that. Oops. Look, they gave me two Shantytown multiplayer map codes. Are you kidding me? I might as well give one to somebody. One of you guys, I might as well give it to you. If you have PS3, sound off, and maybe I'll give it to you. That's retarded. Why would they give you two Shantytowns? I'll keep the hunt. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Mm -hmm. Since this one's split, I'll probably give you... The shanty town from here. This one is in one code, and you get two at the same time. You get a hunter scene and a shanty town. Well, it's this one you can get. You can split their two different codes. That is stupid, man. Did they not think? They should have given us an, an extra map or an extra skin or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's codes I got to enter. Uh, da, 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 da. That's just for pre order. I don't know. And then he, this you don't need to see. It's basically just a registration card for. Tomb Raider on SquareEnix.com. You can do that, but uh, in terms of the in actual instruction book, I don't need it since I got the strategy guide. It's just one of these pamphlets. They're doing that to cut back on uh, paper and ink and that sort of thing. Save money, that sort of thing. You know. Can't really blame them. Saving the trees. Gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, that's the Tomb Raider game. Now, I, I want to open this because there's still more codes for me. God damn, Billy Jack. Alright, so there's one right in my face. If it's for the same thing, I'll be pissed off. What the? Why would they give you this? Okay, that's stupid. Anyway, I'll explain in a second. This is cool though. This I'm perfectly fine with. This is the Tomb Raider soundtrack. That's neat. The original score. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Venture found me. The scavenger's den. First, oh, sorry. First blood. Reaching wrath. A call for help. The descent. The one. The ritual. A survivor is born. The Tomb Raider. Okay, that's enough. I think <laughs> each one of these songs is probably for each chapter, I'm guessing. Anyway, that's the uh, soundtrack. Now, this is stupid. This is another code. It's, it's somewhat stupid. Because it's not something that really helps me now. It only helps me if I still play this game. Look, look at this code. Tomb Raider, right? Tomb Raider, whoa! Hitman apps. oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I think I messed this up. This is cool then. Yes, I'm sorry. I misread this. I misunderstood it. It says Hitman Absolution Weapons Pack. I'm like, why would they give you a code for Hitman Absolution Weapons? That's not it. You get weapons from Hitman Absolution to use in Tomb Raider. That is that is pretty cool. So that's awesome. Whoa. That thing just went everywhere. Sorry, let me just grab that before I lose it. How could I lose it? It's right in the middle of my floor, but you get the point. All right, and... What is this? Ah, right. My god, man. So much stuff. <laughs> How long have I been recording? I don't even know, but there's so much stuff today. Alright, and this is... 
All right, so you, this doubles. Number one, you have a, I don't need this just because. I have a map of the island. I have that in the strategy guide with more detail. But what I like about it on the top, it's a poster of uh, Laura. That's a nice one. Maybe I'll get like a smaller frame for that and put it in the office. See, I love posters, but you can't go too epic like with the posters because you just look like a total nerd. So <laughs> anyways, but these are also really nice. Authentic lithographs. I don't know how many there are in here. Is just the one? Again. I want to open it, but I don't. Can, it, can you open it and reseal it? I think you can. Oh, we're hoping... Yeah, you can. Okay. I'm just opening the lithograph so everybody can take a look. Oh, it's just one. Alright, well... Oh. It's something you can frame, I guess. That's nice, though. I like that. Just like a nice little picture somewhere. You know what I mean? So that's the lithograph. Lithographs are pretty neat. They're like, they don't take up space and they, they look pretty good, so can't complain in there. To be honest, I, I just knew what I was, the main portion of this collector's edition. It was a hundred bucks, by the way. So, just a minute. So really, for 30 bucks, you get all this extra content, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's that lithograph. For God's sake, man, I'm, I've developed a slope. A slope, I tell you. All right, here is the main portion. Oh, hold on, there's one last thing. If I felt so inclined. Uh, I'll open these again in just a minute. Let me find the center, the source. All right, here we go. These are kind of cool, but I would never, ever apply them. These are patches you could throw on your... If I had like a flak... No, but that's not my style. But you have different... Uh, you have different patches that... Um, are different emblems. Like, this is her ice, ice pick. That's like how you probably start a camp. I don't. I think that's a hunting thing. I'm not sure. I don't know too, too much about the game. But... Hold on, I'll give you the, because it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So, just a minute, if I can put these back, if I can, oh, it's on this side, this one. Okay, hold on, sorry, bear with me, people, while I try and maneuver this, these damn patches into their home, which is their case. Come on! Yeah, punk bastard. I may have liberated the patches and they will never go back in. Oh, wait a minute. I got it! Yeah! Alright, well, patches are back home, and it's resealed. Cool. Alright, here is the big and, well... Oh, that looks very delicate. Alright, well, I feel like a kid again. Really, I do. They're meant to... You know what this is gonna remind me of? Oh my god, this is totally gonna remind me. Anyway. Boom! Okay, hold on. Come on, girl. Stand up straight. Stand up straight, girl. God damn it. This is an action figure, bro. It's not an actual, like, statue. It's an action figure. I was expecting it to be a statue, which is why I bought it. Great. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, because people... But have you, has any of you seen Grandma's Boy? Yay! <laughs> this is reminds me of Grandma's Boy. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> what's under the skirt, Laura? <laughs> I don't know if any of you have seen that movie. I guess you could have her, I don't know if she bends at the hip. I don't want to test it. This doesn't seem very strong. But you can position her arms in any way you want. Look. Gangsta Laura. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. They move independently. Yeah, look at that. I don't dance. I lean. I don't. <laughs> oh, she's so thugging. Do, 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 oh, what am I doing? Playing with a doll, pretty much. <laughs> this is. You know what? I thought it was going to be more of a. Uh, like. Uh, like a, more of a statue. But it's a free. It's a free, like, standing statue. I didn't realize, like, it's going to be tough to actually get her to stay. In actuality, this is probably only worth like ten bucks. This actual figure. Anyway, enough enough thug. God, how are you supposed to get her to stand up? I don't think you do. That's kind of disappointing. I wanted her to just stand, you know. 
I guess you could do something action related, like getting or holding on to like some sort of stripper pole and like shaking it down. Oh yeah, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Why did I do that? I'll have to find out something to do with her. I don't know. I'll have to try and get her to stand up. I don't. I don't know. I might just leave her in the tin for now until I move, and then I'll try and find a place for her. I don't know. But I don't even see how I can get her to stand up. Like, honest to God, like, there's no flat surface. It's, like, just an action figure. And it falls. I don't know if I like that, man. I wish it came with, like, a peg so you could at least do that. See, at least she has some sort of, like, a... Some sort of a purpose. Now it looks like her leg's broken. You know what I mean? Now she just looks like some sort of Spice Girl with her moves. I don't want a doll, man. That's, that's lame. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But, uh... I'll find some, but yeah, that's the maybe I'll make her sit down Laura you've been in that box. I can't even bend your leg anymore. I don't know. Oh, it's the it's the the thing on her hip That's preventing me from doing that Is this like something you'd win at happy at like a like get with a happy meal Dude she's doing yoga There hold on Downward dog, girl. Do your downward dog. Feel the energy leaving your body. There. She's doing downward dog now. <laughs> I think. All right, Laura, you're going to be doing there. Stay in there doing your downward dog. Let's focus in on downward dog and how it should be doing. That's beautiful, downward dog. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um... Yeah, so I'll sh I got, oh my god, there's so much stuff to enter, man. This is, game unboxing's been long. I don't know how long it's been. But that's Tomb Raider. We have SimCity as well. Uh, we're going to get started as Laura's doing her downward dog. I'll have to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might put it back in the tin. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm a little disappointed that it's free like that and it's not like um, a statuette. It's, it's like an action figure. It's like a doll. Like, I think that's hilarious. I have a doll now. My god, I have to get her a dollhouse. That's wonderful. Am I gay now? I don't know. But there's been a lot of content in this unboxing, so I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe and favorite it as well. It helps out a lot. And uh, these things are pricey, these damn uh, collector's editions and this and that. And there's a lot of money spent here today. But it's worth it because I feel you guys get to take a look at the content. And if it's worth buying, a little disappointed. Like I said, disappointed about this. I thought it was going to be a statue, something similar to Nathan Drake, you know, uh, the Nathan Drake statue we got for Uncharted, you know, it was very simple, about the same size, and, uh, but it's not, it's like a free action figure, and that's kind of frustrating, but anyways, uh, stay tuned for the gameplay, starting out with, uh, Mass Effect first, I really want to get into that, I gotta get started, there's so much stuff I gotta upload, but I gotta get recording as soon as possible, and we'll probably jump once we do Mass Effect, Tomb Raider for sure, and then I might play some Sim City, and then I might do some, uh, Virgil's Downfall DLC. It's all coming. There's lots to do this week, guys. I promise you content. There's a lot of content this month. So, thanks, guys, a lot for watching. We'll see you in-game, and, yeah, have a good one. Hey, guys, sorry. I did not know this, but the one thing about the Laura Croft figure, it comes with a bunch of attachments, and they don't seem to work that well. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I got the bow in one hand, you put the shotgun in the pocket and the pistol in the pocket as well. But you can also interchange the hands to hold the according weapon or whatever. I chose the bow, but this is the smallest hand attachment and it doesn't hold the bow. <laughs> it's too big to hold the bow unless... No, it doesn't make sense. Why would that... Anyway, you try and put, you try and put the arrow in and it falls right out. It's like super loose. So I'm one arming in this right now. Pretty impressive for one arming it. I think. Hold on. You even if you try to lock it, it's not big enough to lock. So you can have it standing with the bow, but I gotta figure it out. I don't know. I just wanted. I forgot to show you. I didn't. I didn't even see these parts. But yeah, you got your ice pick and all that. Different hand attachments. So I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's a little. That makes it a little cooler. But anyway, peace.